Hey, welcome to SNF Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to apply thermal paste to CPU and GPU on your uh, gaming laptop MSI 663R. And I'm also going to show you how to replace the original hard drive with a solid state drive. So let's begin. First of all, take out the battery. And then unscrew this screw, this one. You have to punch a hole in the sticker there. There, 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 there. And then you can just lift this plastic thing off. Like that. <clears throat> and this laptop have two hard drives. And I decide to change this hard drive for the solid state drive. And just pull it out. So now you will have to put this bracket on your new drive. So it's just a Phillips screwdriver. So now the bracket is in place and we just, just slide it right in here like that and then just screw it back in. Just tighten the screws here. <clears throat> and now we're gonna apply thermal paste to your CPU and GPU. This is your GPU and this is your CPU. So to remove it, you have to unscrew this screw here for the fan. And there's a power cord right here. Just unplug that. So, let's start with the CPU. Um, if you look closely here, there is numbers here. One, two, three. And that's how you're gonna tighten the screws later on. So you don't make it, you know. There we go. And we just do it like this. And there you have your CPU. So now it's time to put some thermal paste on. Um, don't forget to um, remove your old thermal paste with like a piece of paper. And same on the heatsink right here. And I put uh, some tape here so I don't get thermal paste all over the place. There we go. So now you just remove your tape carefully. There we go. So now it's time to put the heatsink back in place. Like that.
And now we have to keep in mind there's numbers here. One, two, and three. So just put the screws in first, but don't tighten them yet until all the screws are in. Like that. Now it's time to make And keep in mind, this will void your warranty if you do this. So, time for the graphics card. There we go. So, you have to remove the old thermal paste. And, um, we're going to find some new one. So, as you can see, I have put some tape here, yes too. So, I don't get thermal paste all over. So, let's apply some here. Well done. And then it's just putting everything back together again. And don't forget to tape. like that. So now everything almost is in place. Just the fan here. So let's see here. It should be like this. And do not forget to put your cable back in later. Like that. Now it's time to put this in here. It can be a little bit tricky, but so.
so and now it's just cutting the plastic back. And you'll screw your screws back together here and put in your power. Like that. And you're done. That was easy.